Hi friends, I'm Michael Kingswood. It's story time. So right now we're going to not do a reading from my books or stories yet because it, I've left off of some very important stuff the last couple weeks. Almost as important as reading my stuff. Well, in some ways more so because I'm helping friends out. But I want to talk to you about the Infinite Bard again. Uh, I haven't done a separate Infinite Bard podcast in a while. I've worked them into the other streams that I've done. Um, but in August, I pretty well sucked in terms of a lot of things writing. I got my stories for the weeks done, although one of them was <laughs> probably barely counts as a story. Um, but I didn't do this podcast very well. And I didn't update you guys about the Infinite Bard pretty much at all, except for my story. And how selfish is that? So I got two Infinite Bard stories to tell you about now. Uh, the one from two weeks ago and the one that's just popping today. It is Wednesday, the 4th of September, as we speak. Uh, so let's get to it, shall we? All right, so two weeks ago, a great guy named Tony Jones put up his story, The Princess and the Assassin, on the Infinite Bard site. Now, I don't know Tony personally. I don't think I've ever met him. Um, but I will say he's a great writer because he's part of the Infinite Bard. And, uh, and because what I've seen of his stuff is pretty good. But he's a freelance writer. He's got a degree in theoretical physics from Cambridge. And he's done a lot of work in IT and uh, has been doing gadgets and blogging. Uh, he's big into science fiction. He loves Doctor Who. And he's done a lot of stuff reviewing books and other things on Amazon and other places. And he writes. He writes some good stories. So I'm hoping you'll ch want to check out his story, The Princess and the Assassin. Now this week is a story from Carrie Kilgore. Now I have met Carrie. We're, I wouldn't say we're bosom buddies, but we've hung out before. And uh, she's a great lady and uh, an awesome writer. And I've... Uh, yeah, had the opportunity to spend some time with her a few times. Uh, now, she's been writing for a while. Um, her first story, Until Death, actually one that was on the uh, ballot for the Bram Stoker Award. And she's been submitting to the Honorable Engine, uh, honor. She's been submitting to the writers of the future contest like i have and like i have she's gotten some silver honorable and other honorable good honorable mention stuff from there and she's got a bunch of short stories that have been put out through wmg publishing's fiction river series which i also have a couple too uh i've seen her at workshops nice lady had a lot of fun with her and uh yeah so she's got some good stuff her story i'm sorry is called sensing the storm it's a storms of the future past story it's a deal works into one of her series. So I'm going to put the links to these two stories and to the Infant Bard website in the show notes for this. I hope you guys will go check them out because uh, both are great writers, awesome stories as always, and <laughs> I was a slacker in August, and I didn't give Tony his due, and I feel bad about that. Um, so really, that's all I got for this one. Go check them out. Read the stories. Have fun. And let's spread the word about them and the Infinite Bard. And every two weeks, come back uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, we'll be doing more stories from cool writers going on. I know I've been putting another story up in early January, so it's at least going until then. Uh, and then we'll, yeah, so good stuff for you to read and enjoy. Okay, I'll talk to you again later on in a couple days. Uh, with the next couple chapters from the Pericles Conspiracy, because got to get back to that. And then next week, I'm not sure if we'll do the Pericles, or I'll do the uh, other new story I just put out. Uh, I'll talk to you about that later. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoy these two stories. Show both these folks some good love. I'll talk to you later. Until then, don't do anything I wouldn't do.